Can you buy running motivation? Well, conventional wisdom would say not, and clearly, if you're starting off from a point of no motivation, it isn't possible to entirely buy that motivation. But it's also true to say that in my 25 years of running competitively, I have found many things that it is possible to purchase that do increase and enhance your motivation for running. So in this video, I'm going to take through five things that either I have bought or I've had bought for me that have really increased my motivation for running over those 25 years. And as a bonus at the end, I'm going to take through one thing that is absolutely free that I have also found a massive influencer for improving running motivation that won't cost you a penny and you can enjoy from next Saturday. So there's a clue there. So the first thing I bought that greatly aids my running motivation is my Coros Pace 2 running watch. So for around 20 years, I've worn various Garmin devices, but this year I switched to Coros. What I like about it is the huge amounts of data you can get and study and analyze after every run. Comparing pace, effort pace, running power. I just really enjoy that aspect of Coros. The charge lasts for ages and it's really lightweight on the wrist. And to complement the Coros watch, I have the Coros um, heart rate monitor because collecting heart rate data has always been very important to me in my running. Now these things haven't always been in running, obviously. I remember when I first started, doing my first ever run of two hours, and I had no idea how far it was. So that afternoon, I jumped in the car and drove the whole route. I remember Dawn didn't use to put strings on maps. Yeah, that's right. And then measure it against the ruler to see how far you'd run. Yeah. But watches these days can do all sorts. We can track our sleep, HRV status, what it thinks, our running potential is at the minute. So the first thing I bought, I found really motivational in my running is my Coros sports watch. So we hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see the rest of our running adventures, please consider subscribing to the channel. We upload twice a week. So the second thing we've invested in, which has hugely helped my running motivation, is this pair of Aftershocks earphones. As you're probably aware, these are the type of earphones, bone conducting, where you can hear what's going on and the world outside you, but you can still get to listen to your music or podcast or whatever it is you want to engage your brain with. So my lunchtime movement break type runs like this one are done with these earphones in. I tend to listen to podcasts, podcasts mainly about current affairs and history. But do you know of any running podcasts you think I might enjoy listening to as part of my enjoyment and motivation from wearing these Aftershocks earphones? As well as listening to podcasts, when we are both doing long sessions where Dawn and I run at different paces, I will listen to music, my hugely varied playlist, which consists of Bob Dylan and artists closely associated with Bob Dylan. So nice and varied there. I tend to think runners fall into two camps when it comes to listening to things out on a run. There are those like me who like to have the distraction of some talk or some music. And then there are runners like Dawn who like to be with their own thoughts when they run. I much prefer to be with other people's thoughts that I can then process and learn from. So the third thing I bought that has seen my enjoyment of running improve and my motivation improve is this very camera on which I'm speaking to you. So yes, having the ability to record our runs, the races we do, a lot of the training we do, the park runs, has meant Dawn and I have really had an injection of enthusiasm and motivation into our running adventure, even after all these years. We find that being able to take our camera with us, to record things, to edit them, to think about ways of presenting, has really helped us improve as runners, made us accountable for some of the choices we make over training, some of the choices we make over race entries, and has really meant our motivation and enjoyment in the two years since we've had this channel has shot through the roof. I've got a GoPro Hero 12 on which I'm recording this, and you may have seen me recently do some point of view videos by using an Insta 360 Go 3 on my cap during races and park runs. Now you don't need to invest hundreds of pounds in cameras to do this. I know many running YouTube creators do all their filming and editing on their smartphone. So yes, I've just checked and in the past two and a bit years, we've actually uploaded 347 videos onto this channel. So the third thing that's really improved my running motivation over the past few years are my video cameras and the ability to bring you these vlogs. 
So purchase number four that I use pretty much every day is my Strava subscription. For those of you unfamiliar with Strava, it works with running, cycling, walking, and many other sporting activities. It allows you to see your training at a glance, day by day, week by week, month by month, or even year by year. It allows you to track progress across that time. You can look at something called matched runs where you do a particular route several times and it'll tell you whether you're getting quicker, you're slower, what your effort was in comparison with each run. It obviously allows you to track mileage across a training block, across a month, across a year. There's also something called the Strava Club where you can join a particular group of people and aim to get as high as you can on the leaderboard each week. And there is somebody sitting very close to here and it has been known for them to go out on a Sunday night to do an extra three miles just to notch up one place on a particular Strava leaderboard. And another thing about Strava we find motivational are the little fun segments you can create or other people create. This segment is just a random piece of a course. It could be between a lamppost and a lamppost, a street corner and a street corner. Somebody creates a segment out of it and then you can compete on a leaderboard to see how far you can get up overall in your gender or in your age category. So my fourth motivational tool that I use pretty much every day is my Strava subscription. Now you don't have to pay for a subscription to enjoy many of those benefits. You can use it for free. It's just to have an opt-in to pay a certain amount each month or each year, and it unlocks more of those features that I've just talked about. So you just need to find out where you sit, where your motivation is, where your interest is, and whether you think it's worth paying the extra for or not. So the fifth and final thing that I've spent my hard-earned British pounds on that has improved running motivation is our extensive collection of running books. Now, I'm not going to take you through every book in our collection. I'm just going to highlight two. One is one we bought more recently, and it is called Run Elite by Dr. Andrew Snow. So what he's done is taken years of research of running and he's condensed it into a really engaging, really punchy and really thought provoking book. Not just on training, but the psychology and the history of running too. So for me, Run Elite by Andrew Snow really ticks all the boxes. We've listened to the audio book and we've gone and bought the physical book too. We'll keep turning back to it for information and inspiration. And the second running book I want to highlight is one that really, I would say out of anything I've ever read has provided me with the most motivation. And that is The Long Hard Road by Dr. Ron Hill. So about this time last year, I made a video on why I consider Ron Hill to be the greatest distance runner who ever lived. And his book, when I read it the day before I did my first marathon back in 2001, made me realize that you can run every day, you can give everything you have to the sport, whilst fitting it around a normal life, a full-time job and a family. So the long hard road, parts one and two are really, really hard to get hold of now. You have to pay quite a lot on auction sites, but I made sure I've got my copies of both of those books. And one of the biggest inspirations and motivations in my running has been those two books by Ron Hill, The Long Hard Road, part one and part two. So I've gone through five things there that you can buy that I think might increase or improve your running motivation as to have mine. But I did mention that I would include a sixth one that is absolutely free. Now I'm just at a point here where I might be able to give you a big clue. So I'm currently in Hillsborough Park in Sheffield and at that point at just after nine o'clock every Saturday, the Hillsborough Park run finishes. And I was going to be really clever there and take you down to the Hillsborough Park run start. It does keep chopping and changing, but I believe here, last time we did it, is where we started. Anyway, yeah, a free barcode, which you can access on your smartphone, will give you access to a multitude, in fact, well over 700 courses all around the country, where you can turn up and have a free timed 5k run every single week. Now, those of you who follow Parkrun, although there's been a lot of noise this year about various decisions made by Parkrun HQ, and we all have our views on those, but in its essence, Parkrun is a group of volunteers, group of communities meeting in a park every Saturday and putting on a run for people of all abilities and all shapes and sizes. So Dawn and I have found as our running has changed over the years, as we've had periods of injury, periods where I've not been so fit, that being able to do regular park runs for us around the country has been a massive step in keeping our motivation levels high over the years. 
So, hope you've enjoyed that video where I take you through five things I've spent money on or had money spent on me and one thing that is free that can keep motivation high. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, you can't buy motivation, you can't print off motivation, you can't put motivation around your ears. But what you can do is engage with these things that will improve your motivation and make your running better and more consistent and hopefully more enjoyable as you go through your running life. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, I'll take you through some of the things that I've invested my money in that have increased my running motivation over the years. If you have, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see our races, park runs and other training tips videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. It's absolutely free and you get to see when we've uploaded a new video. So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.